All right, coming to you with a really short, quick review. We have the Moultrie telescopic bucket feeder that we picked up uh, about a year and a half ago. And we have just now gotten to the point where we're putting the batteries. It actually had uh, power. It still had power, but it's been over a year, almost a year and a half. And I'm just, I'm shocked that it's still been operating. But we're gonna go ahead and put uh, four fresh Panasonic AA batteries in here. It's super awesome because it just takes four of these batteries and they lasted almost over a year. So I mean, I, I don't I don't think there's anything out there that can beat that. No solar panel to worry about, no big silk six volt battery that takes up a bunch of space. And this thing you can do up to four feeder times. No. Oh no. Dad? Sorry. Dad? I can't no cookies right now. No, no. I have to have one. Please can, can you give me the ice cream? Pretty please. Oh. <laughs> Are you thinking about it? Ian, can I please have the ice cream? Pretty please. <laughs> no, I can't. You're thinking about it. All right, like, like I was saying, this thing is fantastic. One thing I do mention, uh, or I guess I should mention, is that. I use a heavy chain with some uh, old wires to tie it up on a branch. Um, I had just hung it on a tree limb with a hook holding the, uh, the main little um, arm that goes across the top of the bucket for you to actually handle it. Uh, and I, I had a hook on there and once this thing had empty out, em emptied out for the first time, I don't know if a raccoon had climbed up there or maybe the wind just blew really hard, but it swung off of the hook and it fell straight down on the ground and when it did there used to be uh, some little plastic braces that connected to here with a little you know screw assembly on the end of them that kind of allowed it to have grip but um, I ended up just taking some bolts from tractor supply or I guess they were just really large screws and it had evenly broke all four of them I literally found this motor unit separate from the actual bucket construction and so I, I had to take these extra large screws and use them to uh, basically, you know, reestablish where this thing was at. Uh, so that was one uh, little kicker, but I did find a little bucket cage that fits over perfectly and uh, and kind of kind of locks in right around the base of it. So I use a couple of zip ties to just, uh, just to clamp it on there. But, um, you know, I think it helps deter anything from as far as the small stuff, I think the raccoons might be able to still get their hands in there if they work at it. But, but yeah, so I'm just coming in to say that this feeder uh, really has uh, gone beyond my expectations, and I'm extremely happy with it. The uh, I'm putting these fresh batteries in it and setting it up at a new location, so I'm really excited to see what it brings in. Hopefully, I can post some more content on the channel, but if you haven't bought one of these, I think they sell roughly around $60, $70 at full price. And uh, you might be able to find a, a special on them, get a discount or something, which is what I ended up doing. Uh, I did post an initial review and unboxing video on this guy, but this is coming to you after over a year. And I'm telling you this thing, uh, it really is phenomenal. And it's the motor, the little motor and, and the computer unit that it has is super out uh, it's just so simple and outstanding and i'm uh i'm excited to get lots of more use out of this if for some reason i have it fail on me i'm hope i'm just going to go out and buy another one so um hope that helps hope you guys enjoyed the video and i uh, hope you're having a great day whatever it might be and we will see you next time bye bye